On a regular workday in 2022, when Lee Feng was driving home during rush hour, a delivery man riding a scooter crashed into Lee's car at a busy intersection in Shanghai. The accident damage was supposed to be covered by insurance that the delivery man's company acquired for its employees. However, Liu, the delivery man, explained to Lee that he was a temporary worker with no such insurance and had to bear the cost on his own. To the surprise of Liu, Lee didn't ask for any compensation. Instead, he chatted with Liu and learned about social security issues for flexible workers. Liu never knew that Lee was a deputy to the National People's Congress, nor did he know that because of this accident, an issue involving his group of people was brought to Beijing to China's top legislature. This is where Li Feng, an NPC deputy, works. Shanghai Panda Machinery. He used to be a truck driver and now works as the manager of the purchasing department of the factory. Well, I'm very interested to meet him. Let's go. Okay. This year marks the seventh year of Li Feng serving as a national lawmaker. Whatever happened, his work life could become the inspiration for him to discover problems and help solve them. Over the past six years, Lee has put forward more than a dozen suggestions, most of which are closely related to the benefits of migrant workers. From his own area, to start, from his own group, to start, to give ideas, 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 to give Lee did a series of investigations after his encounter with the delivery man. Lee and other NPC deputies proposed further regulating outsourced flexible work arrangements to improve employment quality. Their suggestion received positive feedback. By January 2024, social security policy shifts that benefit flexible workers had been rolled out in various parts of China. 灵活用工人员的各种政策出台，对我国有两亿多灵活就业从业者很有帮助，很有推进作用。他们的交纳社保对他们自身，呃，对整个社会都有很重要的意义。我提的建议的主题，一般都是来自于日常生活的观察，这是我们做代表的很重要的一个履职内容，就是把时时刻刻帮助人民解决生活的难题挂在心上。Those NPC deputies are really busy. Yes, exactly. Actually, NPC deputies perform their duties throughout the year to make worthwhile proposals and give good suggestions. The process of them performing their duties offers a window to China's whole process, people's democracy. How many suggestions can one deputy put forward every year? Can be multiple. There's no specific limit on the number of suggestions.、Ah. For example, Li Feng,、mm -hmm. he made five suggestions last year,、mm -hmm. and most of them are related to his identity、uh, as a grassroots worker and the group of people he represents.、Mm -hmm. I can understand why his proposals match certain people's needs because he feels what they feel and he understands about their lives. Exactly. I'm wondering if there are some NPC deputies who make suggestions based on their professional expertise. Of course, let's meet a deputy from Chinese Academy of Sciences, and he's China's top expert on air pollution control. Wow! On this day, Professor He Hong visited Beijing University of Chemical Technology to check and give guidance on innovative experiments in pollution control. He has made great use of his professional expertise in the six years he has served as an NPC deputy. He has made multiple suggestions on ecological and environmental protection during sessions of the top legislature. Professor He is also a member of the NPC Environment Protection and Resource Conservation Committee. Wow! You know, I'd really like to meet him. 
Okay, let's go. Thank you. 你好，何教授。你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好，你好灰霾污染的控制已经取得了非常大的成效，但是臭氧污染控制还任重道远。那它的控制现在还是一个世界性的难题。我们在长期研究中提出了一些解决的方案，我准备在这次的大会上来提出。Surface ozone pollution mainly occurs during the summer when the temperature is high and the sunlight is strong. This is the solution that Professor He plans to propose for nationwide use during this year's two sessions. A coating that can decompose the polluting ozone. Beijing Guangzhou Ecological Park is the first experimental site to use this coating. Over 5,000 square meters of wall surfaces in this park are applied with this environmentally friendly coating. Ah, that side, right? Yeah, that's where I painted. Hmm, this looks no different from regular wall paint. Hmm, you know, I can't tell any difference either, but I can feel that the air quality is really good here. Hmm, yes. 看是看不出来什么的，然后我带你们去看看观测的设备。教授，这个数字代表什么呀？嗯，呃，大概呢，现在就是七十微克每立方米。嗯，这个浓度是低于我们一百微克，呃，每立方米这样的一个国家一级标准。从有关部委对我的改善大气环境、保护人体健康的提案的回复的意见来看，我可以深深的感到，我们现在政府对这个改善民生。改善我们环境的意识是很强的，动力是很足的。在我当选环资委员之后啊，啊，我更深的认识到啊，我们全过程民主啊，实际上就是发生在这个我们在起草这些法律，啊，通过这些法律、执行这些法律的这全部的过程中啊，我们要首先经过充分的调研、专业的研究，在调研研究的基础上，要跟政府部门相关的，政府有很多的磋商。这个磋商的过程中，可能就是政府的部长就要来我们委员会上，要听取意见。经过这样的磋商呢，再提出这个法律案，在环资委通过之后，还要再上到人大常委会，一般要两到三次审议后，交付表决才能通过。这个过程中，充分体现了民主的过程，因为这个时候他有很多机会要听取人大代表的意见，甚至向全社会征求意见。你们可能都不知道，这个公园还涂了一些环保的涂料，可以分解臭氧。你们并没有察觉，但是它在保护你。夏天来这儿，这个公园就比别的地方要凉快，感觉空气是吧？<笑>美丽的蓝天，良好的环境啊，这是我们最普惠的民生福祉，广大人民群众的共同的愿望。作为全国人大代表，更有义务、更有责任，让我们的科研成果在大气污染治理中啊。得到更好运用和啊实践。Now I can see how an NPC deputy's personal experiences in a specific field have inspired him to make worthwhile proposals at the two sessions. Yes, they not only need to review the problem, but also to investigate and provide solutions. I want to see how the proposals are successfully promoted into Chinese people's lives. Let's go and take a look. Rake, you know this road was constructed after the project was proposed in the two sessions by an MP deputy from Gansu Province. Really? Yeah. People say that a good road leads to prosperity, and this is a really beneficial project.、Mm. So I can't wait to meet this deputy. Yeah, you can say that. Do you think that this school still needs to be improved? What can be done? What can be done? What can be done? What can be done? During her investigation tour, Dong Caiyun, an MPC deputy, built a close relationship with teachers and students here, and had candid and open conversations with them. Ningxia Hui Autonomous Prefecture in northwest China's Gansu Province used to be one of the deeply impoverished areas, with two-thirds of the schools located in mountainous areas. 
the weak infrastructure and low quality education had long hindered local economic and social development. Ah, 欢迎来布隆根小学。你看娃娃们精灵吧？哎呀，现在孩子真的很出息。哎呀，很精灵的，原来不是这样。这给我最大的感受是什么？很自信，主动的跟你打招呼了。原来你教他都不出声，你相信吧。<笑> Joan has been teaching for over thirty years and has taught tens of thousands of students. She has been elected an NPC deputy for two consecutive terms. Since 2018, she has been conducting investigation on education development and rural revitalization in ethnic minority areas, and seeking solutions for existing problems and challenges. Multiple suggestions made by her have been adopted. One, two, three. There is a saying that the most beautiful houses are schools. 那么你们去今天看到这个很漂亮是吧啊？因为里面也很温暖，对吧？你看现在的这个乒乓球呀，咱们这个操场呀，都有很大的变化。加上我提的建议，就乡村小学的教师要加大培训的力度。那么硬硬软件都基本上并驾齐驱，我们跟城市里的孩子，呃，也能享受到同样的高质量的教育。This is the 52.5 kilometer long Lingxia Dahejia Expressway. It is a key part of the regional transportation network and holds great significance for the economy and people's livelihoods in Lingxia and surrounding areas. The construction of this highway started in 2019, just months after Zhou made a suggestion during the two sessions that year. My home city. 金石山县和青海省就隔着一条黄河，那么黄河对面住的是藏族、土族、汉族。当时呢，我们都想着各民族之间相互的交往、相互的交流，提供便利的。那么当时呢，我们正好缺这么一条高速公路，这是我们多民族共同的愿望。Ji Shishan County was jolted by a powerful 6.2 magnitude earthquake, causing death, injuries, and destruction to houses and infrastructure. The Lingxia Dahejia Expressway, which had been operational for only a month then, became a lifeline for rescue vehicles, winning precious time for earthquake relief. In February 2024, a month before the opening of the annual two sessions, Dong paid another visit to the quick affected area. 我多次来到呃我的家乡，多次的深入到当地受灾群众的家里，和他们面对面的交谈，重建中他们有什么样的需求，呃，他们想建怎么样的房子，呃，想拥有什么样的学校。也想把这个受灾群众的想法，呃，传到两会上。From improving rural education to building an expressway, over the past years, Doe has brought valuable opinions from her hometown to Beijing. For her, more of such suggestions are still on the way. 我做一个偏远的山区的这么一个代表，我们基层的声音能够得到回应。呃，基层的意愿能够得到满足，基层的实际困难得到解决，我觉得这是实实在在的人民民主。